Scott Ferguson here. Things like that. Today on Cooking with Fergie, we are doing wings. That's right. It's game day. The boys are playing. Been waiting a long time for this. So I'm doing my crock pot hot wings. Stay tuned. All right, folks, let's get to the groceries. We got the uh, Foster's Farms takeout crispy hot wings from Costco. Shout out to Costco. It comes with a couple packs of hot sauce. We're gonna top this all off with some Franks in a minute. It's on its way. We've got jalapenos, Cajun bell peppers, habaneros, serranos, and chili peppers. Those are from the garden, folks. Tomatoes are from the store. Won't get to lying. We've got our crock pot, and we've got our wings pre-cooked. As these wings have been cooked an extra five minutes, no flip, spray the pan, put them in the oven, let them go for 35 minutes, 32 to 35 minutes. Now, these wings, they're almost gonna look burnt, but they're not. They're just, they're just nice and crispy. We wanted to get all the fat out from underneath the skin. All right, let's go to assembling the goods. All right, guys, the peppers. Don't be afraid to wear gloves. All right, so now we're gonna go with the jalapenos. And I'm going to go for a thin slice on these. All right. Seeds and all, folks. Again, it's all cooks down. All right. <clears throat> then we're going to move on to the habaneros, the uh, hot bananas, the serranos, and the chilies. Stay tuned. All right, guys, tomatoes. I like a sharp knife for tomato. Edgeware makes this nice little sharpener. Take your favorite knife, a couple of passes, hit it with the stones. Good to go. All right, so tomatoes, we want to get fairly thin. They're going to disappear before this is all over. Y'all know how to cut tomatoes. All right, guys, stay tuned. Let's assemble this. Hard parts over. Now, got Frank's Red Hot Sauce and two of the packets that came with the wings. We're gonna put the drum mats on the bottom, crispy side down. We're just gonna put them all around. Now we've got a layer of wings. Now we're going to start with the jalapenos. I know I don't have gloves on, but that was my last pair. I was not prepared. I'll just try not to touch my eyes later. All right, so again, we're going with the jalapenos because that's a big flavor factor too, the jalapenos. Put them right on the wings. All right, and then like I was saying before, the uh, hot banana peppers, we're gonna stick down in the little holes, anywhere where there's a spot. And the Cajun bells, the same. Start putting these in. Now I am gonna stay away from the habaneros with my hands. That's just silly. Do not want to touch the habaneros with your hands. I know I said I'm out of gloves, but I'm still not gonna touch those. Get some of these chilies. Put them around. All right, and then I'm gonna just kind of layer in some of the habaneros. And then I'm gonna drop in, 
Drop in a couple of chilies, whole chilies. The serranos and the chilies look a lot alike. The chilies are smaller than the serranos. So again, we're going to put a couple of those in whole. Then we're going to layer everything with the tomatoes. Just like this. All right, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Some of these littler ones. Again, when this is all said and done, you will not see any tomatoes. All right. Now, Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. Cover it. One of the uh, chili pack, one of the flavor packs that came with the wings. Well, this is live, folks. This is real. Things happen. Should have gone for the scissors. All right, you'll turn it back now. Yes, I've got a mess. But that's okay. Now, we're going to go with the flats. Jalapenos going in. Hot banana peppers, Cajun bells. I'm going to dig through my mess I made here. Grab some of these chilies and serranos. Again, it's always uh, it's nice to have a big cutting board here. Again, with the sides to catch stuff. Get in the rest of the Cajun bells. Throw in the jalapenos. And then the habaneros. Now, the habaneros are going to bring some nice heat, folks. There's not so much flavor in this. I mean, there is flavor, don't get me wrong, but they bring the, that nice heat in the back of your throat, like I said. All right. And then tomatoes. Completely covered in tomatoes. guys so lost the battery in the other camera so we've got the first layer peppers tomatoes second layer wings peppers tomatoes and whatnot so now this just sits it is going to sit on high untouched for probably 45 minutes lid on and just sit back and wait stay tuned so let's, let's see what we got. All right. So now we're bubbling around the edges. Tomatoes are starting to get soft and break down. Again, this isn't, this isn't a, a quick thing. This takes hours. 
but it is worth it, folks. Worth it. All right, guys. It's been two hours. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Stuff is breaking down. Tomatoes. Look at that. You can't even can't even pick them up. Alright, we're gonna go in for the stir. Just gonna give it a little. There's one of those wings. Oh yeah. This is why it's so important that you cook all the fat out of the wings. in two three four hours to go always better the second day too let it cool off then heat it, heat it back up all right guys putting the lid back on going back to the game should have started this a little sooner stay tuned all right guys three hours in let's take a look You can almost call these stewed wings. Oh man, they're starting to come apart. We are getting there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these guys out. Let it cool off. We'll give it a taste. Alright guys, so now 
like I was saying, this just gets nothing but better. We can um, get out of one of these, uh, these drumettes.